Welcome to Vlogtober day 23. Shoot, I'm trying to like figure this out. So I woke up today and I'm really, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I feel like I'm coming down with something. You know that horrible feeling like you're getting sick and you just like feel it in your throat. There's like that lump in your throat and you just like feel it coming on. So I'm definitely getting sick and I just took a nap while I was working earlier. I really did not do anything today. I woke up, worked, and then took a nap and then I just wasn't feeling that well. So I haven't even like left my apartment at all today. And I got these emails. I got an email from the library, the New York Public Library. And it was like, an update, your books are overdue. And I was like, crap, I'm the type of person, my life is such a mess. Like I just don't keep up with things. And I realized, I'm like at my bookshelf right now and I hoard library books. I don't know why. Shoot. So I'll just be at the library and I'll kind of like, a book will catch my eye. I'm like, oh, a year in America's national parks. And it's about this guy who went to like all the national parks. It was his family tradition. And I think his mom was passing away and it was like gonna be their last summer together. I don't know if she got cancer. Kind of sad, but it just caught my eye. On the eve of turning 50 and feeling a little burned out, Mark decided to reconnect with the great outdoors. He'd spend a year visiting the national parks. He planned to take his mother to a park she'd not yet visited and recreate his childhood trips with his wife and their iPad generation daughter. All right, and then this book, Homegrown, Adventures in Parenting Off the Beaten Path, Unschooling and Reconnecting with the Natural World. And this was really cool because that's really how I was raised. Like I was unschooled, which is like homeschooling, but really homeschooling. Like you don't have curriculum, you don't have tests. You pretty much just learn from the world <laughs> around you. And it's really cool, so I got that book. And then this book, Creative Change, why we resist it, how we can embrace it. Oh, and then of course, Mother Teresa, A Simple Path. Just, she's amazing. Anything about Mother Teresa, I need to read. And then I have Barack Obama, The Audacity of Hope. And I started reading this, I was like flipping through and I learned something really interesting. His first job actually was at the City College of New York. which is the college that I graduated from. And I thought that was so amazing. I never knew that. And then I have this book, Desire and Disaster in New Orleans, Tourism, Race, and Historical Memory by Lionel Thomas. I'm just gonna read a quote from the back that someone wrote. New Orleans is one of the top tourist destinations in the world. Lionel L. Thomas's book, should be required reading for all visitors to the city. It is a powerful, much needed critique of how the tourism industry romanticizes the city's history of slavery and race relations. It is also an important account of how African Americans have struggled to create a place within an industry for themselves and their history. So that's just like a little review. Like, you know how there's other people who write things in the back. So yeah, it just caught my eye because I love New Orleans so much. And then there's like all these historical things. As everything falls off my bookshelf okay and the last one I have I have literally a separate section of my bookshelf dedicated to library books how sad is that like I hoard library books and then this one is strange contagion inside the surprising science of infectious behaviors and viral emotions and what they tell us about ourselves so yeah, that's what I do. I just, I go to the library and I see these books that just seem interesting and I'm like, oh, I need to read this. And then I, I'm like, I need to read this, I need to read this. And then I like gather these books and I keep renewing them and keep renewing them. Like Obama, The Audacity of Hope, I've, I've been reading this for so long and I'm still not done with it. I'll just like read a chapter, go back, read a chapter. And I've renewed it like too many times now that the library is making me bring it back. And that is my library book addiction and I should be one of those people who does like a bookshelf tour and I'll take you through all my books, but that will take way too long for a video. I really miss Millie. I miss Millie so much. Like she was here this weekend and we had such a good time and she's gone now and I'm just really sad. I actually like cried the other day. I was sitting in my bed like so sad and I missed Millie. I'm like, um, I'm gonna like cry again if I talk about it. Anyways, oh, Millie, meh. I'm just sad.
because I love Millie so much and I'm sad that she's gone and I'm so glad she got to visit me though. But yeah, it's just hard to live far away from family sometimes, but it does make the times you are together even better, so that's good. So yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it for today's vlog. I do not feel well and I think I'm just gonna like read a book or something and just lay in bed and drink tea. So I hope tomorrow I feel better at least after resting. Thank you for watching, subscribe, see you tomorrow.